In this video, we're going to learn how to iterate over a string without using the built-in string length function in C. So let's declare a car array called string and we'll store into this car array the string a, b, c, d, a, b. And we'll say this is a test string where maybe in a real program, the string has come from user input or some other source at runtime. And therefore we don't really know how big the string actually is. Now, one way to iterate over the characters of the string, in other words, loop through the characters of the string is using the built-in string length function. What we could do is include the string.h library where the function is defined. Then down here, we could call the built-in string length function with strlen, and we could pass it our string as an argument. And this function is going to return the number of characters in our string, not including the special null terminator character at the end of the string we could store that length into a variable called length with int length is equal to the return value of calling the function. Now each of the characters in this string is stored at an index. So for example, uppercase A is at the index zero, B is at the index one, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. Now at the index six, what we actually have is the special null terminator character that ends the string, represented with backslash zero. So we could iterate over each character in the string by using a for loop with a counter variable i that's initially set to zero. So in the first loop iteration, we could use i to access the first character in the string. Then with each loop iteration, we could increment i by one and use i to access the next character in the string. We could stop the loop once i is no longer less than length because once i reaches length, we'll have reached the index of the null terminator and we can stop. Let's do that. Down here, we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, and i plus plus. Then what we'll do is use i to access and print out each character in the string. We'll have printf and then percent %c to put a character, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll put the character in the string at the index i. And if we save, compile, and run our program, we're going to output each character in that string. We'll get a, b, c, d, a, b. And again, what's happening is our counter variable i is going through each index of the string with each loop iteration until it reaches the index of length, and then we stop. And we stop at this index because here we have the special null terminator character that signifies the end of the string. What we could do is for a loop condition, instead of checking if i is less than length, we could check to see if the character at the index i doesn't equal the null terminator. And so long as it doesn't, we could continue. Then once the character at the index i does equal the null terminator, we could then stop the loop. Down here, we'll have string at the index i doesn't equal the null terminator character as our loop condition. If we save this and compile it and run it, we'll again get a, b, c, d, a, b. And so now we're not using the variable length and this call to string length isn't necessary. We'll take it out. When we call string length, that function is going to go through our string counting characters until the null terminator character is encountered. So by not calling string length, this solution is only going through the string once instead of twice. Now in C, the null terminator character is considered false and all the other characters are considered true. So we could actually simplify this condition down to string at the index i, because if this character at the index i is not the null terminator, this condition is going to be true and the loop will continue. Whereas if this character is the null terminator, the condition will be false and the loop will stop. We could save this and compile the program and try it out. And we'll get the same result as before. Now a proper C string must end with the null terminator character, but if it's somehow possible that our string is missing that character, we may want to add some bounds checking to our for loop condition to make sure the counter variable i does not get incremented beyond the length of where the string is stored, say a car array. So here we could have and, and then i is less than some maximum number. So for example, we don't go outside the bounds of our car array and access memory that we shouldn't. Notably, the standard string length function does depend on the string being properly null terminated. 
There's versions of C, which include safer versions of the string length function, which accept a maximum length. So this is how we can loop through a string without using the built-in string length function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.